One of the topics discussed at the meeting was the acquisition of the A-10 Warthog fighter aircraft. It seems that the Philippine Air Force is very interested in acquiring the A-10 Warthog from the United States. This happened during the visit of the U.S. Joint Military Assistance Group Philippines, just mag PH, led by Lt. Col. David S. Nelson. By 2024 the USAF will decommission 42 A-10 Warthog fighters. We strongly recommend to acquire at least 18 units with operational status and 6 units as spare aircraft with a total of 24 units to be acquired. The Philippine Air Force has previously inquired about the A-10 Warthog, which is scheduled to be retired by the USAF soon. The Philippine Air Force has been studying this since 2020 and may already have a conclusion on whether it still makes sense to acquire the A-10 Warthog for use in anti-ship and close air support roles, although its age and higher maintenance costs could be the main reasons for doing this. A-10 Warthogs have landed in the Philippines several times and conducted joint exercises with Philippine Air Force pilots. Our highly recommended A-10 Warthog attack aircraft is reasonable to acquire and would not be too difficult to maintain with this service. And it is reasonable to request the transfer of some units to the Philippine Air Force. Given that the Philippine Air Force had done some research on the possible acquisition of the type to replace the OV-10 Bronco several years ago. Earlier, we were informed that 42 A-10 Warthog attack aircraft will be retired by the United States Air Force and sent to the Boneyard. What do you all think? Is the A-10 Warthog attack aircraft suitable to replace the role of the retired OV-10 Bronco? According to my personal view, the A-10 Warthog attack aircraft is very easy to obtain considering the relationship and cooperation with the United States government are well established. Last July, the United States Air Force conducted a joint exercise with the Philippine Air Force. Interestingly, the U.S. Air Force also brought along several A-10 Warthogs, which we previously reported the Philippine Air Force was interested in purchasing. The A-10 Warthog is a twin-engine short-range air support aircraft manufactured by Fairchild Republic, now part of Northrop Grumman, for the U.S. Air Force, USAF. Also known as the Boar, Flying Gun, and Tank Buster, it was widely used during Operation Desert Storm in support of NATO operations in response to the Kosovo Crisis, as well as in Operation Enduring Freedom in Afghanistan and Operation Iraqi Freedom. Freedom. The A-10 Warthog is a highly durable and versatile military aircraft, popular with pilots for its effectiveness when coming home. The aircraft's mission is ground attack against tanks, armored vehicles, and installations, along with close air support of ground forces. The A-10 Warthog has night vision imaging systems, or NVIS, goggle-compatible single-seat cockpits forward of their wings and a large bubble canopy that provides pilots with all-around vision. The pilots are protected by titanium armor that also protects parts of the flight control system. The redundant primary structural sections allow the aircraft to enjoy better survivability during close air support than did previous aircraft. The aircraft can survive direct hits from armor-piercing and high-explosive projectiles up to 23 mm. Their self-sealing fuel cells are protected by internal and external foam. Manual systems back up their redundant hydraulic flight control systems. This permits pilots to fly and land when hydraulic power is lost. The A-10, Warthog, has received many upgrades over the years. In 1978, the aircraft received the Pave Penny Laser Receiver Pod, which sensed reflected laser radiation from a laser designator. Pave Penny has now been discontinued in favor of more capable, advanced targeting pods. 
The A-10 began receiving an inertial navigation system in 1980. Later, the Low Altitude Safety and Targeting Enhancement last day, upgrade provided computerized weapon aiming equipment, an autopilot, and a ground collision warning system.